Are you feeling a lot of conflict on your team? Conflict that's not necessarily healthy? I wanna give you a framework for thinking about three different types of team conflict, one of which is great and important, and I want you to have more of, but two of which are really problematic. So the first one, the one we want more of, I talk about as tension. Tension is when we have conflict on our team because we're thinking about the problem with a different lens, we have different expertise, we're coming from different departments or teams and therefore we have different priorities or goals or things we're being measured on. Uh, we have different stakeholders, people that we're worrying about. And for all those reasons, we have to put tension on the conversation, on the deliberations. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it doesn't feel great when you realize that your you know, obsessive focus on the suppliers uh, is only one part of the equation and we need to think about customers too but that's tension. It's supposed to be there and it's healthy. But there are other two things I'm seeing more and more of in teams recently that are not healthy and things we want to avoid. The first is pressure. And pressure is a situation where there's a conflict, but it's one directional and there's no forum in which to actually you know, go back and forth or, or come to a workable solution. Pressure tends to come from one direction. It's just, you must do this. And if you don't do this, uh, you, know, you won't be successful. You will be in trouble. So pressure comes in the form of uh, you know, a CEO saying, it has to be this, with no place to say, that's not actually workable or achievable. It comes from one department in an organization having all the clout and all the influence and you know, deciding on how something will be without creating any input. And then all of a sudden it's just, you have to deliver this thing probably in some completely unrealistic timeline. So pressure is half of the tension equation. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it would be positive if that one perspective could be melded with the other perspectives to understand what's an optimal outcome, but pressure doesn't have that form. It's only in one direction. The second very unhealthy form of conflict I call friction. And friction, yes, you're all in the conversation. Yes, there is a forum for the conflict, but instead of that conflict being focused on those different perspectives, different stakeholders, different priorities, different ways of looking at the problem, friction is where it gets focused on the individual, it gets uh, competitive, it gets to the point where no one's looking for the optimal solution to the whole, Instead, they're really just looking to win their case. So maybe there's a lot of interrupting. Um, no one is listening. People are you know, entrenching further in their initial position as opposed to listening and you know, being uh, willing to change their approach to optimize the whole. And that friction is what really, really wears us down. So we are looking for conflict in teams, but we're looking for it to feel like tension, feel like something that stretches our thinking, helps us take scarce resources and make them go further. And yes, it's uncomfortable, but it is something necessary and healthy compared to pressure, which is you know conflict without an actual healthy forum or friction where you, know, you have the forum, but you're not using it to get to the best answer. So I want you to think about, and I'd love for you to comment, where can you think about scenarios where you're having tension, but others where you feel pressure or friction with no helpful, constructive, useful forum to resolve it? Okay, more on how to resolve some of those conflicts on your team right here.